Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about creating curves in Maya and then using those curves to drive extrusion-based geometry and deformations. Okay, so here we are in a brand new scene. So we're going to go Create, Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool, Option Box. And I will just reset this. Okay, so there's a many options here, um, but for our purposes, we're, we're just gonna be playing with one, which will be linear curves. Let me just do that real quick, All right? So straight lined curves, or I do this again, create CV curve tools. Three, which are cubic curves, which are smooth curves that we can also have sharp points in. So now with that selected, we can just make a path like this. So pretty, pretty straightforward. There's, there are many different curve tools in Maya. A Bezier is what we're familiar with in Illustrator. Uh, you can also draw freehand and have it convert to a curve. You can, you can create arcs uh, using curve tools, but I find that moving around in 3D space, the CV curve is uh, the easiest to work with. Okay, so here we have our curve. So what we're gonna do first is use this curve to make new geometry. So I'm going curve, poly modeling, and I have my curve selected and I click on this tool and there's an error. So if this happens, so if I go over here, I can see, is this connect from fine procedure, sweet much stuff. If this happens to you, it means that you need to turn on the plugin. So we're gonna do a search for sweep, sweep bundle, load, auto load. And now, fingers crossed. So with my curve selected, now when the plugin's loaded, I do this and I have sweep mesh. There's um, several options here. We can turn up, so here, I'm gonna do view shading, wireframe on shading, just so we can kind of see the mesh as we work here. I can add detail. I can create the, a star shaped inner radius. Um, we can use rectangular shapes or ribbons. You can have um, multiple instances of your kind of base shape and scale them. You can also rotate the individual instances. Um, a fun one to play with is the twist. Um, we can also taper the curve and control the profile of this taper using this little graph here. So that's the sweep mesh tool. Other things to be aware of. So it, there's not a lot of resolution here. So if I go to interpolation, I can give it a little more detail if I like. It'll look a little smoother. Okay, um, another really handy thing though is to have some geometry and then use the curve to alter it. So for that, we're going to use some text. And you know what? Let's let's create. We'll call this curve warp. And Ventura. And maybe you know, maybe we'll do caps. Warp with tracking and center, and perhaps give it a little more depth. In this instance, I want to have, because I am going to be deforming this, I want to have deformable type. I'm going to turn down the reduce threshold a little bit. I'm also going to add a little more detail on the extrude. 
All right, so here's our text. I'm gonna turn this off. We don't really need this anymore. Then I'm going to create a NURBS primitive circle. So this is just a curve that has been drawn into a circle. I'm gonna give it a much bigger radius, maybe 30. And you know what, maybe, maybe we'll make the type a little smaller. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to a new area, and this is called MASH, and MASH is where we have motion design type tools. Um, so if I select this, and I select the curve, I'm looking for this one here, the curve warp tool, and now it puts the text onto the curve, which is really neat. Um, so I can, let's see here, let's go to our curve warp. We can adjust how this is scaled. We can move our text along the curve here. Um, I'm gonna take my, and this is all still live, right? So if I go in here and just call it warp. It will just be warp. Um, I'll make this. Let's make this significantly bigger. It kind of connects. Okay, so right now our text is kind of on, it's sitting, the curve is the baseline. What, what I wanna do though is, if I start to spin this around, so we can add twist here, which is, here we go. And we give the twist a little profile. The two parts of the twist are not going to match up with each other. So what I wanna do is have the curve right in the middle of that line. And I mean, it's pretty cool on its own, but what we're gonna do is go to our original text, go to type, go to animation, turn on animate, and then I'm gonna kinda command drag to get this text in the middle of our curve here. So that's on one axis starting to come together. And I can also do um, the Z axis as well. Get this to match up. And maybe it's a little too tall. in Maya <laughs> and this is looking insane so maybe make this a little smaller there we go now it's starting to come together a little bit I'm just gonna tweak this gets what I'm looking for So pretty exciting um, typographic possibilities here with this. We can also use the same tool to extrude a letter form around a curve and have and have the the extrusion itself be um, wrapped around. Okay.